tipped away. Good defense by Stevens. Kuba in the corner gets it back out to May inside. Turnaround jumper's no good, and Bobby controls the rebound. Red Hill down in a hurry, watched from behind. Tipped away. Picked up by Meyer. And Scott will control it. Good shot. Justin Shearer. Well, they went to sleep, and Shearer sneaked right in there, got the score. 7-4, Saluki's lead it. Kuba drives, gets it back to Hampton for three. Got the big three that time. Well, we're knotted up at seven all. Ron Hampton, three. Scott Murray gets it across to Shearer. Shearer loops into D. Holloway, the turnaround jumper. It goes. Got the roll. Saluki's by two. Hampton will bring it across. He controls it for Staunton. Drives, kicks it into the corner to Sturdich. Jeremy May with the ball, tipped away by Sheriff. May still has it, tipped away again by Sheriff and controlled by Meyer. Meyer in the paint, gets it back out to Sturdich, and Sturdich with the basket. Sturdich, it's all knotted up at 9-9 uh, nine, nine now. Stevens with it. Emmons out front to Holloway. They work it around. Scott Murray lifts inside, gets it to Bobby. He takes the jumper. No won't go. Holloway on the rebound. And they'll take it back. Oh, there's... Scott Murray tried three. <laughs> Rebound control by Scott. <laughs> Kuba from behind the line. Won't short. Rebound Stevens. Two on one break. Let's see how they work it. Murray Tyler with it all. Scott got an extra step in there. Two on one, and Scott got in a little bit of a hurry that time. Scott and Ball. We're tied up at 9-9. 3.20 to go in the first quarter. Scott with the ball. Sturdich in the corner. Comes back out to May. Goes inside, knocked away Sheriff. Sure. Give the steal to Emmons. He tipped it away. Justin Sheriff will work it out front. Now Evans with the ball. Scott Murray in the corner, in the Holloway. He's open for the jumper. Too much. Picked off by Hampton on the rebound. Drives the paint. Got it. Well, Staunton back out now by two points. It's 11 to 9. Hampton with, with, Hampton with seven of the 11 points for him. Well, he shot well from outside. Stevens for three. Got it. Bobby Stevens for three. Good way to answer it. Well, we're <laughs> cruising along with a pretty fast first quarter here. 12-11 <laughs> to score. One point lead for the Salukis. The ball goes underneath. Hits the rim. Picked off then by a Shearer. And he throws it away. I'm going to jump in and get a commercial in here for Alan Large, the attorney at law who has offices located at 214 East Main in Robinson and at 715 12th Street in Lawrenceville. Alan Large's office are wishing the Red Hill Salukis good luck. Kuba, the big man, drives the baseline, puts it up and scores. So Staunton, lead change again, 13-12. That's about three of them. Scott Murray. Out front to Bobby Stevens. We're at 150 to go in the first quarter. Holloway cross court to Shearer. Inside to Holloway, off the glass. Yes. Side. D. Holloway. Red Hill leads 
Minute and a half. half run. Skurdich in a corner. Back to May. Inside. Knocked away. Red Hill controls. Holloway takes the baseline. Lays it in. D. Holloway. 16-13. Saluki's back out in front by three. And a timeout is called. Spartan timeout. And we all need that one. 16-13. Saluki's lead it. Don't forget, Tracy Electric is a full-service electrical contractor who is licensed and insured. They also do heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Call Tracy Electric in Lawrenceville at 943-2243. Bridgeport Marathon Service Station is a proud sponsor of this Saluki broadcast. See them for all your auto service needs. For tires, batteries, oil, and minor auto repair, that's the Bridgeport Marathon Service Station at 945-4451. For lunch or dinner, take the family out to Gray's in Bridgeport. They have great steaks, catfish, chicken, and much more. Reservations are welcome Fridays and Saturdays till 6 p.m. and later during the rest of the week. That's at Gray's in Bridgeport at 945-9501. Leo Lynn Enterprises says if you'd like to show your spirit of your team or business, let Leo Lynn advertise it on any shirt, hat, or jacket. Contact Leo Lynn Enterprises three miles north of Lawrenceville for your silk screening and monogramming needs. That's Leo Lynn Enterprises. We got a stunt and substitution, but I didn't catch it. Say 14. Uh, will be Brad yes. Best yes. in for Staunton. Best handles the ball, gets it across the line to Hampton. He's their shooter. Look out. Here's Kubik in the corner, or Kuba. Gets it back out to Hampton. Sturdich out front, and now Best. Inside. Brad Sturdich on the turnaround, 16-15. So... They cut the lead back to one point. Saluki 16, Staunton 15. We're at about 35 seconds to go in a quarter. Bobby Stevens with it out front for Red Hill. Murray in the corner. Stevens, Red Hill slows it down a little bit. Stevens drives in the paint, kicks it back out to Emmons. Kill a little time, 20 seconds to go on the clock. Stevens for three. Won't go. 16 seconds and the ball goes back to Staunton. One well, of the cleanest, quickest quarters I've seen in uh, super sectional play. There's only one team foul call in this quarter so far, and there's been a lot of action. 31 points will attest to that. Hampton gets it down inside to Skirtish. To Meyer with the basket. Three seconds. Emmons throws up the long one. It's going to come up short. Well, at the end of the first quarter, it's 16-15. Red Hill Salukis lead it by one. Wolf City Anna Auto Sales is proud of the success of the Red Hill Salukis and the fine job that they've done. Wolf City Anna Auto Sales is pleased to be a sponsor of tonight's ball game. And also Tracy Electric for electrical and oil field work for residential, industrial, and commercial. Call Tracy Electric at 943-2243. That's Tracy Electric in Lawrenceville. Rob Service in Sumner offers repair service on everything mechanical. From semis to tractors, they'll handle all major and minor repairs. Call Rob Service in Sumner at 936-2682. Say it with flowers from Lawrenceville Greenhouses. They have a variety of balloons, fresh flowers, and plants to choose from. It's all at Lawrenceville Greenhouses on Highway 50 West. The Cool Agency is home of the highest interest rate CD annuities. Contact Alton or Roger Cool for all your insurance needs. For home, automobile, and life insurance, that's the Cool Agency in Lawrenceville. Hey, let me remind you, you're watching Wabash Cablevision. Tonight's super sectional ball game is being brought to you by your own Wabash Cablevision company. Second quarter, man, this is cruising. And there's a foul against Murray. His first, first team foul for Red Hill. Red Hill, number 25, Scott Murray. Be out of bounds under the Red Hill, or under the uh, Staunton basket. Kuba will toss it in. Looks for help, goes out deep to Best. Best down in the corner and inside. Goes to uh, Jeremy May. My, was Meyer, wasn't it? Jeremy no, May. May. 42. May with a basket and another lead change. 
May takes up a lot of space. In yes, there. He's, he does. he's a husky boy. 17-16, starting by one. Scherer's got the ball, goes into Holloway, and he got pushed. A little obvious. That's <laughs> Kevin Meyer on the shove that time. Stockton, number 52, Kevin Meyer, his first, second team foul. Out of bounds. Into Holloway on the jumper, got it, D. Holloway. Well, we'll change that lead to 18-17. 10 points for D. Holloway. I had four lead changes in the first quarter, and we've had two so far in the second quarter. So they're playing ball. May in the corner goes back out to best. Skirtich with the ball at the top of the key. We move it around. They pass it around very well. Meyer in the corner. shot and the foul is going to be called against Red Hill and Kevin yeah. Meyer will go to the line to shoot a pair of them. Going on Holloway I think I think he tipped his elbow as he went to shoot. Alan Large attorney at law has offices located at 214 East Main in Robinson and at 715 12th Street in Lawrenceville. Alan Large's office offices are wishing the Red Hill Salukis good luck in their ball game tonight. <coughs> He missed it. Yeah. Bridgeport Marathon Service Station is a proud sponsor of this Lugie broadcast. See them for all your auto service needs for tires, batteries, oil, and minor auto repair. It's Bridgeport Marathon Service Station at 945-4451. Well, he got the second one, and now we're tied up at 18 on. Red Hill with it. Bobby Stevens works it. Gets it across court to Gary Emmons. Inside to Holloway. And he traveled. Well, he knew it. Tracy Electric is full of... <laughs> Tracy Electric is full of electricity. Is a full-service electrical contractor who is licensed and insured. They also do heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Tracy Electric in Lawrenceville. Staunton with the ball. Jeremy May in the corner. Stolen away by Gary Emmons. Stevens with it. The jumper from about 10 feet. No good. And the ball's kept alive. Get back out to Emmons for three. Gary Emmons. And that's what happens when you keep that ball alive. 21-18. Red Hill on top. Kuba out front with it, goes inside. Best for three, misses everything, Emmons with the rebound. Kicks it out to Scott Murray, he'll try three. Won't go. Rebound Jeremy May for Staunton, and Best brings it across the line. He's Kuba, Stevens on him. Best with it out front. Back to Kuba in the corner. They go inside, miss the layup. Well, Meyer put the shot up, missed it. And there's uh, that Jeremy May. Yeah. Brad Sturdich will be at the line to shoot a pair of them as he tried to put that rebound back up there. Got the first one. It's 21-19 Red Hill on top. We're in the second quarter. A little over five minutes to go here in the half. Skirtich, second shot. Is good also. 21-20. Into the ball game. Jason Young comes in for Red Hill. Scott Murray will take a rest. Murray picked up his second foul just a second ago and might want to get him out for just a little bit. Good pass. Holloway couldn't handle it. Swanton picks it up. Hampton down court. Lead pass. Tried the alley -oop. Young on the rebound. Yeah. 
Shearer for three. Justin Shearer. 24-20, Saluki's by four. Okay, the putback by Cuba. Meyer put the shot up, Cuba on the rebound. It's 24-22. Saluki still lead it by two. Young with it. Now Stevens. Holloway in the middle. Gets it back out to Young. Now Scherer. Holloway had an ocean. Emmons for three. Didn't get the roll, rebound, and the foul is going to be called against Bobby Stevens of Red Hill. Red Hill, number 21, Stevens is first. Four. For lunch or dinner, take the family out to Gray's in Bridgeport. They have great steaks, catfish, chicken, and much more. Reservations are welcome Fridays and Saturdays till 6 p.m. and later during the rest of the week. That's Gray's at Bridgeport. Kuba back out to Hampton. Skirtich in the corner. Now Hampton for three. He's got it. Well, lead change again. 25-24, Staunton. Hampton's in double figures. Emmons inside to Stevens. Good pass. Won't fall. Rebound. Staunton. Hampton, don't give him room. They trap him in the corner. And it's knocked out of bounds by Jason Young. The ball will go over to Staunton. Hampton, drive, jump shot. No basket. Foul before the shot. First, uh, first foul on Justin Shearer. Leo Lynn Enterprises north of Lawrenceville is proud of all the kids in Lawrence County, especially the Red Hill Salukis as they journey to the championships. Leo Lynn Enterprises backs all Lawrence County schools. Andy Kubel with the bucket. That put Scott out in front by three. 27-24 the score, and the Salukis call a timeout. 're just three minutes to go here in the half Wolf silly and auto sales is proud of the, su the success of the Red Hill Saluki and the fine job that they've done Wolf silly and auto sales is pleased to be a sponsor of tonight's ball game call Tracy electric for electrical and oil field work for residential industrial and commercial call Tracy electric at 943-2243 that's Tracy electric in Lawrenceville Rob Service in Sumner offers repair service on everything mechanical from semis to tractors. They'll handle all major and minor repairs. Call Rob Service at Sumner at 936-2682. Well, it's 27-24. The Salukis trail it by three. They've got the ball. Well, I've got unofficially here four lead changes in this quarter alone and one tie so a close ball game all the way through there was a little miscommunication there and uh, red hill tosses it out of bounds staunton's ball stevens on cuba cuba gets it down in a hurry to may in the corner back out to hampton Scott. Inside, the shot's no good. Still no good. And if you stay under there long enough, you're going to get yeah. down. Although I thought Holloway got all ball that time, but he was behind him. It's Holloway's second personal. Sixteen foul for uh, Red Hill, so it's not going to be in a bonus situation the rest of this. Mm. The Glass Masters in Lawrenceville is proud of the Red Hill Salukis and wish them the best of luck in tonight's super section. Good luck, Salukis, from the Glassmasters in Lawrenceville. Well, Andy Kuba 
at the line, missed his first one. Stunt leads it. Now 28, 24 by four points as Andy puts the second one through. Shearer brings it down for the Salukis, gets it to Murray. Cross court to Young, inside to Holloway. Good pass, D wide open, got it. Salukis cut that lead to two. 28, 26, Staunton. Hampton with the ball, down in the corner. Skirty, back out front. That's Skirty. <laughs> well, sure had no choice. He had to stop him any way he could, that situation. Well, he took May out on a pretty good block. Number 15, that is Shear in second. Got uh, May at the line for two. We have two shots at the line. Well, the cool agency is the home of high interest rate CD annuity. Contact Alton or Roger Cool for all of your insurance needs. For home, automobile, and life insurance, that's the Cool Agency in Lawrenceville. May's second shot. Got him. 30-26, a four-point lead now for Staunton. We're 150 to go here in the half. Staunton six for eight in the free throw line. And the Red Hill one for two. Holloway on the turnaround off the glass, no good. Oh. Young is called for the foul on the rebound. Now we're getting a little picky now. May again. So you want a bonus? <laughs> Missed the shot. Rebound Holloway. 135 to go in the half. Stevens with the ball. Drives against Cuba. Cuba with his hands all over him. Gets it back out to Shearer. Got some time here in the quarter, 125. Into Young, shot won't go. Rebound, Hampton, stomp. 30-26 to score. Rebound, Bobby Stevens, Red Hill down in a hurry. Good pass on the outside. Sure, sex and tries the three. But the foul is gonna be called against oh, Skirty. Brad Skirty. yes. His first, only the third team. Foul for Staunton. Number 44. Red Hill has the ball out of bounds underneath their own basket. 105 left in the half. Skirty comes out of the ball game. Holloway with a shot, got it. Two-point ball game again, 30-28. Staunton leads it exactly one minute to go in the half. Mike Coveley just into the ball game is one that lost it out of bounds. 48 seconds to go in the half. It's Red Hill ball. They've got a chance to tie it up or go out in front. Sure. Works against Hampton. Gets it to Murray. Scott. Oh, good pass to D. Won't fall. Rebound. Bobby Stevens put it back. Got it. Got the basket. And the foul. And I think it's going to count. Surely. Got to count it. Got to count it. Yes. There he did. All right. First uh, foul on Cuba. Bobby Stevens at the line. Gary Emmons back in the ball game. D. Holloway takes a seat and a breather. 34 seconds left to go in the half. It's all tied up at 30 all. That's a good move by Coach Kendall to get Holloway out for the last 30 seconds. Stevens there's, got the free throw. There's another lead change for you, Jim. I've lost count. Red Hill by one with 30 seconds to go in the half. I want to guard Hampton. <laughs> Hampton way out there. Cuba with it out front. They're going to kill some clock now. Cuba works it out front. Gives to May. 
Trying to pull Red Hill defense out. Kill some time. Hampton with it. Red Hill staying in that man to man. Good steal in and out of the Four. hands of May. Oh, Bow great pass. To, oh, beautiful yeah. pass. Steven. At the buzzer, count the basket. Red Hill 33, the Stanton Bulldogs 30. Thirty-three thirty here at halftime. The Super sectional at Eastern Illinois University in Charleston, Illinois, and the Salukis lead it by three. Totals for the game so far. Uh, the first half, Staunton, who's uh, trailing the game by three points. Hampton with ten, with uh, two three-point baskets. Four for May, six for Skirtich, seven for Cuba, three for Meyer. They committed four team fouls, and uh, Meyer, Cuba, Skirtich, and May all with one apiece. They were six for nine from the free throw line, which is uh, considerably more times than Red Hill got to go there. Stevens, uh, I'm sorry, Holloway's leading score for the game so far with 14 for Red Hill. Uh, Bobby Stevens with 10, five for sure, and uh, four for Emmons. They committed 18 fouls, two for Holloway, two for Murray, one for Young uh, and Stevens, and two for sure. They were one for two from the free throw line. Shot uh, one, two, two, three, uh, three point, three, three point baskets. Let me start it here. And uh, Staunton with two. Good half of basketball. Well, I had the uh, lead changes four times in the first quarter. Now, this is unofficial because I get excited and forget to write them down. But here in the second quarter, I had five lead changes and tied twice. The first time at 18-all uh, at 642 and then 30-30 again. And then Red Hill here in the closing seconds of the first half went up 33-30. Uh, uh, so the Saluki is leading by three. Scoring by quarters, uh, Red Hill 16 over Staunton's 15. In the second quarter, Red Hill 17-15. So that uh, goes hand in hand with the lead changes you're talking about. And it's been a fast first half. Uh, each team has called a timeout, I think. But there have been very few fouls called, and uh, the clock hasn't stopped. Man, they breezed right along. Well, you're watching Wabash Cablevision. We hope we hope you're enjoying tonight's ball game. One of the sponsors for the ball game is the Red Hills Driving Range, and this is something we talk about in the spring. And watch for the spring opening of Red Hills Driving Range. A putting green will be added this spring, and they also plan to expand into other areas of golfing in the near future. If not open yet, and you'd like to come out or bring a group, give them a call at 945-7478 or 945-7127. They'll be happy to open up for you. This is Red Hill's only driving range, and it's located between Lawrenceville and Red Hill State Park, one mile west of Bridgeport on Highway 50. Red Hill's driving range. Both teams are uh, going back to the original starters to begin the third quarter. And as I said, uh, Red Hill with the two fouls on Holloway, Murray, and Shearer, they're the only three that are hurting. Uh, everybody's for Staunton with one apiece. Well, Tracy Electric is a full-service electrical contractor who is licensed and insured, and they also do heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Call Tracy Electric in Lawrenceville at 943-2243. Alan Large, attorney at law, has offices located at 214 East Main in Robinson and at 715 12th Street in Lawrenceville. Alan Large's offices are wishing the Red Hill Salukis good luck, and they lead it by three as we get ready to start the third quarter here at Charleston. Well, the winner goes on to the big house in Champaign Friday. The winner of this game will play the winner coming out of the Decatur Super Sectional at 6.30 on Friday evening, either Arthur or Riverton. Red Hill will open up the third quarter and we're under one Bobby Stevens with the ball gives it to Emmons Emmons will set the offense for the salute stolen by Stump. give the credit to Skirtich on the steal there's Hampton wide open for three missed it rebound Scott Murray 
Boy, don't give him any room. He gets it up quick. Stevens with the ball. Holloway working hard inside. Sure with it. Original starting lineup for the Saluki. Emmons drives the paint, kicks it back out to Murray. Now Emmons with it out front. They'll run the offense again. Sure. Underneath Stevens wide open. Well, they ran their offense well. Bobby Stevens on the bucket, 35-30. Saluki's by five. Staunton's Cuba has it. There's a good pass inside. He got a couple of steps, too. Meyer. Kevin Meyer on the bucket. That's kind of an NBA two-stepper. Three-point lead by the Salukis. Scott Murray. Now Stevens inside to Holloway. Oh, somebody got him on the hand there, too. Hampton with the ball. Out front to Cuba. Inside to Meyer. Meyer scores. Well, it's a one-point ball game again. 35-34. Salukis lead by one. They've yet to score here in the first half. Or second half. No, they've scored one bucket. 33-30 was the halftime score. Stevens with it. Underneath Emmons. Off the glass. Gary Emmons. Gary Emmons. Red Hill now back out in front by three. 37-34. Hampton across the line. Picked up quickly by Sheriff. Cuba controls it out front. Inside to Meyer. Tipped away by Stevens Holloway all the way on the drive. The foul is going to be called against Hampton. Hampton's first foul. First team foul for Staunton in the second half. Hampton came down on his hand. Looks like he's... Uh, that is a shooting hand? I hope so. <laughs> it's his left hand. Holloway will be at the line to shoot a pair of them. Bridgeport Marathon Service Station is a proud sponsor of this Saluki broadcast. See them for all your auto service needs. For tires, battery, oil, or minor auto repair, that's the Bridgeport Marathon Service Station in Bridgeport. <laughs> Got to make them free throws. All right, 38-34, Red Hill leads a full court press. Stevens on Cuba. Trap, Murray down in a hurry. They get it across. Holloway tips it out of bounds, and it'll be stumped. Well, everybody was waiting for a whistle on that one. Staunton ball. Cuba tosses it in to Hampton. Inside to Meyer. Short rebound, Stevens. Three on Good two. Good pass. Murray. Green. 30. Will be called for the foul. Got to make the free throws. His second foul. Five minutes to go here in the third quarter. And we're going to have a timeout stop. I want to talk about spring again and watch for the spring opening of Red Hills driving range. A putting green is going to be added this spring and they also plan to expand into other areas of golfing in the near future. If not open yet and you want to come out and bring a group, give them a call at 945-7478 or 945-7127 and they'll be happy to open up for you. This is Red Hill's only driving range and located between Lawrenceville and Red Hill State Park, one mile west of Bridgeport on Highway 50. Well, we 
return to action here in the third quarter. It's 38-34, Red Hill on top. Scott Murray will be at the line to shoot a pair. Missed his first one, although I remember uh, against Newton the other night, I believe Murray made like uh, eight out of nine or something in the fourth quarter to, to keep Newton at bay. There he goes. Well, he got one. 39-34 now, a five-point lead for the Salukas. Kuba brings it down the floor. He does everything for uh, Staunton. Lost it. Stolen. Almost. Fumble recovery, and we've got a jump ball call. Well... Staunton possession. Kicked the ball once during that little uh, skirmish, and I thought maybe they could have blown it that time. Hampton drives against Murray, and Murray's going to be called for the foul. There's third. Red Hill, number 25, Murray, is third. First team foul at half here. Hampton with the ball, goes to Cuba in the corner. Now to Hampton. Skirtich gets a pass inside to Meyer, and Meyer gets the ball. Well, it's a good pass, good play. 39-36, Saluki's by three. They, sure, get, they gave the basket to Cuba in there instead of Meyer that time. Okay. Red Hill with the ball out of bounds. Emmons with it. Stevens. Back out front to Murray, cross court to Emmons. Into Holloway. Into Holloway again, back out to Shearer. Now Stevens with it. Stevens drives, gets an open shot to the basket. Bucket didn't go. And a blocking foul. Boy, they needed that basket. That's Meyer's second foul. Bobby will shoot two. Number 52, Meyer. For awards, trophies, and plaques, contact Leo Lynn Enterprises. Computerized engraving is done on site in their store for fast quality service. That's Leo Lynn Enterprises, three miles north of Lawrenceville. Atta boy. Forty thirty six, a four point lead. Bobby second shot, short, rebound, Cuba, stunt. Cuba drives, short, rebound, Meyer. Anybody's ball and controlled finally by Red Hill. Murray to Holloway, back out to Emmons for three. Come on, Gary, a little short. Hampton. Looks for help, pulls up, knocked away by Emmons or by Holloway. That one Holloway, number three. Red Hill, number 32, Holloway is third. Brad Best comes back into the ballgame for Staunton in place of Jeremy May. Two shots, Ron, Ron Hampton. Best is a 5'8" senior. Hampton missed the free throw. Got one. Well, it's 40-37. We're back to that familiar three-point spread here again. Red Hill by three. Emmons <laughs> knocked away, picked up by Bass. Get Hampton credit for the steal on that. He drugged his foot a little bit, and a foul called on Justin Cook. Red Hill, number 15, That was uh, the third foul for Shearer. Third team foul for Red Hill is half. Staunton ball out of bounds. Kuba will toss it in. Gets it to best. Now Kuba with the ball. Kuba drives. Back out to Hampton for three. Short. 
Rebound. Knocked out of bounds. Their uh, officials talk it over. Now we're going to jump it. It should be Red Hill Ball. Red Hill Ball. Possession to Red Hill. Well, they couldn't agree. So they did the only thing they could do. Went to the possession arrow. Red Hill Ball. They lead it by three. With three minutes to go in the third quarter, it's 40 37 Salukas. Emmons to Stevens. Bobby tries the lane. Now the jumper. Got it. Bobby Stevens for the big two. 42 37. Best works the ball for Staunton. Gets it down in the corner. Now back to Best. Skirty inside to Kuba from 15. Forty-two thirty-nine. Red Hill by three. Stevens with it. Holloway the screen and Stevens got two. Good screen by Holloway and Bobby puts it through. Forty-four thirty-nine. We've got two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Seven points for Stevens this quarter. Inside to Meyer. Meyer drives on Holloway. Count the basket, and he's going to be called for the foul. That's a tough call. That's Fourth foul on D. Holloway. Well, Jason Young comes into the ball game, and D is going to have to take a rest. 1.56 on the clock here in the third quarter, and D has to sit down with four fouls. Mark that down. With a three point lead. Meyer. One shot. Meyer will have one. Count the basket. Chance for a three point play. He missed it. Rebound. And let's call the foul against the uh, best of Scott on the rebound. Nobody's in bonus yet, are they? No, that was the fourth team foul. They both have four, four fouls. Red Hill will have the ball out of bounds. They lead it by three. Red Hill. One fifty to go in the third quarter. Emmons with the ball. Looks for help. Gets it to Stevens. Mur Scott Murray with it out front. Now to Emmons. Staunton's kind of turned up the defensive pressure a little bit here. Understandably so. Sure. Stevens. Emmons with it. Best tries to tip it away. Good, good drive by Stevens. Won't go in an offensive foul is called on Bobby Stevens. Second personal foul for Bobby Stevens. 118 on the clock. Still 44-41, Red Hill. Staunton will put it in play. Full court pressure. Hampton across the timeline with it. Meyer back to Hampton. Hampton shuffles his feet, looks to me like. Kuba, best, inside to Meyer. Wide open, Meyer with a rebound. And the foul is going to go against Jason Young. That's the second foul on Jason Young. He had no, uh, had no choice there. you got to stop those easy ones. Well, Skirtich had the shot to begin with. Couldn't get it to fall. Meyer on the rebound from the putback, and that's when he was fouled by Young. 54 seconds in the quarter. Red Hill still leads it by three. It's 44-41. Nothing's happened for a while. Got one now. When uh, D. Holloway sat down, there was 156 to go, and it was 44-41 then. So 54 seconds to go, and at the free throw line, Meyer puts in one. It's 44-42, a two-point lead for the Salukis, and Stevens brings it down. 
Taunton will be shooting bonus one and one uh, the rest of the ball game. That was a 16 foul to Red Hill. Inside to Stevens in the lane. He's got Bobby Stevens. Big bucket. 46-42. Red Hill by four. 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Best with the ball out front for Staunton. Doesn't look to be that good a ball handler, but he gets away with it. Behind the back is Kuba. He goes into the paint, puts a shot, and... Well, who's this one going to be called for? 23. Sure. Jason Young. Or, I'm sorry, Jason yeah. is third. That'll put Kuba at the line. Yeah. 17 seconds on the clock. Got it. For lunch or dinner, take the family out to Gray's in Bridgeport. They've got great steaks, catfish, chicken, and much more. Reservations are welcome on Fridays and Saturdays till 6 p.m. and later during the rest of the week. That's Gray's in Bridgeport. Got them both. Two-point ball game again, 46-42, 15 seconds on the clock. Stevens out to Young. Bobby in the corner, drives the baseline. The jumper won't go. Four seconds, Staunton ball. They lost the big one. Oh, oh, on yeah. Well, at the end of three, it's 46-44, Red Hill by two, and a big fourth quarter to come. Wolf Siliana Auto Sales is proud of the success of the Red Hill Salukis and the fine job that they've done. Wolf Siliana Auto Sales is pleased to be a sponsor of tonight's game. And Tracy Electric, give them a call for their for your electrical and oil field work or for residential, industrial, and commercial. Call Tracy Electric at 943-2243. That's Tracy Electric in Lawrenceville. Rob Service in Sumner, another sponsor of tonight's ball game. They offer repair service on everything that's mechanical. From semi to tractors, they'll handle all major and minor repairs. That's Rob Service in Sumner. Oh, say it with flowers from the Lawrenceville greenhouses. They have a variety of balloons, fresh flowers, and plants to choose from. It's all at the Lawrenceville greenhouses on Highway 50 West. And the Cool Agency is the home of high interest rate CD annuities. Contact Alton or Roger Cool for all your insurance needs. For home, automobile, and life insurance, that's the Cool Agencies in Lawrenceville. You're watching Wabash Cablevision, your own Channel 23. This is super sectional play as we go into the fourth quarter. The Salukis lead at 46-42, and we're underway. Well, Red Hill did, did shut down Hampton that quarter. He only managed one point. I think he only had uh, maybe a couple of attempts. And Young, Emmett. Well, here's where the trouble's going to come. It's his first foul, so he's not hurting. But uh, Stone's going to force that ball inside, and they're either going to they're going to force Red Hill to foul with the big man they've got to go inside to. Kevin Meyer at the line. He got the first one. For Red Hill, there's only four fouls against Staunton, so it'll be a couple of fouls more before Red Hill can go to bonus. And with Staunton in bonus now, that's going to hurt. He missed a second. Big rebound, though, by uh, Sturdy Skirty. with the rebound. Kuba for three, missed a shot. Stevens with a rebound. Saluki still lead it by one. They've got the ball. They control it. And Stevens, or Gary Emmons, has it out front. A one-point ball game, 46-45, Red Hill. Well, it'll be interesting to see at what point uh, Coach Campbell will reinsert D. Holloway into this game. Red Hill plays catch with it now. Scott Murray. They're running their offense. Stevens with it out front. Killing some time. Young with it. Now Emmons. Shearer. Spot in the man-to-man -man defense.
Kill some clock. 6.40 to go here in the ball game. A one-point game. Red Hill by one. Jason Young. Now Emmons with it. Guarded by Cooper. Doing a good job of handling the ball. Murray with it. A lot of good motion. Emmons with it now. Looking for Staunton to go to sleep a little bit here on offense or on the defense. Best finally fouls Murray. Well, it'll be out of bounds and we'll do it again. We're at 5.55 on the clock. It's best second foul and the 15 foul against Staunton. They've still got a foul to give. Hampton on Emmons. Now Murray. And they're getting away with a lot. Meyer comes out on Young. And Hampton on Emmons. Gary drives, kicks it back out to Murray. Over to Sheriff. 5.30 to go. 46-45, Saluki. Got to watch that five-second count when you put that ball down. Stevens with it out front. Now Murray. Best on here. Easy. Jason Young. We're at five minutes to go in the ball game. Killing some time. Now a timeout. Fred Kendall wants a timeout. The Salukis will go to the bench and talk it over. Well, I, I like the idea. We just played uh, three minutes from the fourth quarter. That's a total of five minutes with Holloway on the bench. Still got the lead, and you can put him back in by the end time. Alan Large, attorney at law, has offices located at 214 East Main and Robinson and at 715 12th Street in Lawrenceville. Alan Large's offices are wishing the Red Hill Salukis good luck. Tracy Electric is a full-service electrical contractor who is licensed and insured. They also do heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Call Tracy Electric in Lawrenceville at 943-2243. And Bridgeport Marathon Service Station is proud sponsor of the Saluki broadcast. See them for all your auto service needs for tires, batteries, oil, and minor auto repair. That's Bridgeport Marathon Service Station at 945-4451. And D. Holloway has re-entered again. 4.52 on the clock. 46-45 the score. And when he went out, it was only 44-41. Right. I don't think they're going to change their strategy any, though. Just... Uh, Take a little more time. Why not? Let him foul. Oh, there you go. Get rid of your hands on him, boys. His third. Okay, still out of bounds. But now we're in bonus. That's the sixth one. After this one. Well, that's all right. Pressure to get it in. Time. Oh, that was a quick Hurry. five. When did he start counting? I didn't see. Kendall not happy with his players, though. Nobody could get loose. The five-second count and the turnover gives it back to Scott. 4.27 on the clock. It's a one-point ball game, 46-45, Red Hill. Now, Staunton can kill some time. They can go inside, and Holloway's got to be careful. Skirtish in the corner, out to Beth. Murray on Skirtish, pass inside the left, but out of there. Well, I think it was off of Meyer's hand, and uh, that changed the, the direction of the pass just a bit. So now we can start all over again. Four minutes to go. No. Oh.
For lunch or dinner, take the family out to Gray's in Bridgeport. They've got great steaks, catfish, chicken, and much more. Reservations are welcome on Friday and Saturday till 6 p.m. and later during the rest of the week. That's Gray's at Bridgeport. Well, Red Hills dodged a bullet twice here and given Staunton a chance to retake the lead. See if they can uh, get by with it one more time. Inside, Cuba missed a shot, rebound Bobby Stevens. Stevens had great position that time, a good move against Cuba. Emmons will bring it across the line against Hampton. Now Murray with it. Holloway. Sure. In the D. D double team gets it back out. Well, something's going to happen. Yeah, that's the fourth turnover in about a minute and a half here. Very unlike the Saluki. Three minutes to go in the ball game. Saluki's lead it by one. Staunton with the ball. Best gets it to Cuba. Hampton out front. Hampton again. Sturdy. Cuba for three. Got it. A big three. Staunton now by two, 47-46. Forty-eight, forty-six. A two-point lead for Stump. Barry Emmons inside to D. Holloway puts it up in. Tie ball game. Hampton drives, kicks it back out to Skirtish. Now Hampton with the ball. All knotted up at forty-eight. All. Two minutes to go in the ball game. Kuba in the corner. Best with it. 150 on the clock. Inside, stolen away by Bobby Stevens. Drives the line. We've got a foul called, and that'll go against Best. And that'll put Bobby at the line with a one and bonus. Well, I didn't want to see that foul because I thought we were going to wind up with a two on one break. Chance for a basket, and maybe a foul underneath. Three-point play, but that's all uh, wishful thinking, I guess. For your silk screening and monogramming needs, call Leo Lynn Enterprises. They'll advertise your team or business on any shirt, hat, or jacket. Call Leo Lynn Enterprises at 943-3945. They're located just three miles north of Lawrenceville. Got the big one. You got to get the first one. 49, 48, and Bobby's got another one. One forty-five on the clock. Missed the second one. Holloway with the rebound. Puts it back. Down the wall. Oh. The big play. Big rebound on a big bucket. Count it. Count it. Well, we can turn that into a four-point play. It was about the same period as the, the uh, game against Newton when Holloway did the same thing. That's right. 51-48, Saluki's by three, and D. Holloway at the line. <laughs> Missed the shot. Three-point lead by the Salukis, 139 on the clock. A big bucket, though, by D on the rebound. So we got Jeremy May back in the ball game for Staunton. Cuba out front to Skirtish, back to Cuba in the corner. Hampton with it. Won't give him any room. He puts up the jumper from 15. Won't go. Rebound. Skirtish. They'll do it again. May had an ocean. To Cuba for three. Missed everything. Out of bounds. That'll be Red Hill ball. One minute to go in the ball game. Staunton's going to take a timeout right now. 51-48. Saluki's lead it by three. One left. 
Wolf Filiano Auto Sales is proud of the success of the Red Hill Salukis and the fine job they've done. Wolf Filiano Auto Sales is pleased to be a sponsor of tonight's game. March Madness. <laughs> And it's probably only about 25 days till opening day of baseball. Hey. You're watching Wabash Cable Vision. I tell you what, folks, if you've enjoyed the ball games that we've done this year and the fact that we followed through the regional tournament, the sectional, and now the super sectional, let the people of Wabash Cable Vision and let the sponsors of the broadcast know it. One of the sponsors, Tracy Electric. They've been with us all year. Call Tracy Electric for electrical and oil field work for residential, industrial, and commercial. Call Tracy Electric at 943-2243. That's Tracy Electric in Lawrenceville. 101. This may be the longest 101 we've seen so far. Saluki ball. Holloway's got it in. Clock starts. Saluki's lead it by three. Stevens with it out front. He works against Skirty. Now to Emmons, and he tried to foul. to foul. He's got him now. And that was, uh, he didn't have to call that one. <laughs> no. But it was going to get worse. 46 seconds on the clock. Emmons will go to the line to shoot a one and bonus. Got to make the free throw. He's one for two so far. He's one for two in the first quarter. There's a little more pressure riding on these two, though. If it's a 15-foot putt, everybody would have to be quiet enough. Short. Holloway fights oh. for the rebound, loses it to Kuba. I thought he was going to get another. 40 seconds to go. Saluki's by three. Hampton with the ball. Goes to the baseline. Guarded closely by Shearer. They throw it away. Picked up by Emmons. Good pass to Stevens. Off the way up. Off the and foul. And Stevens is down. Foul is called. On Jeremy May, counts the basket. <laughs> Stevens a chance to complete the three-point play. Salukis are out in front by five. They can make it six. They do. Takes two possessions. Yeah. If they don't self-destruct, things ought to work out right. Cuba forces a shot. Oh. No. Hold it. Stein called a timeout. Is it a three-point? It was. They marked three on the board. They marked three, okay. Well, that was a desperation shot. 17 seconds left. Hmm. <laughs> a, a lot can happen in 17 seconds. I'm going to do an insurance commercial. We need it. The Cool Agency is the home of the high interest rate CD annuity. Call out in the Roger Cool for all of your insurance needs. For home, automobile, and life insurance, that's a cool agency in Lawrenceville. Rob Service in Sumner offers repair service on everything mechanical. From semis to tractors, they'll handle all major and minor repairs. Call Bob Service in Sumner at 936-2682. And the Glassmasters in Lawrenceville is proud of the Red Hill Salukis and wish them the best of luck in tonight's super sectional ball game. Good luck, Salukis, from the Glassmasters in Lawrenceville. Well, Coach Kendall's voice last week at the sectional was about gone. I don't know whether they, they could hear a word he said in that huddle or not. Saluki's got to get it inbounds now. They're in trouble. Okay. They call the timeout. <laughs> got any idea on the timeout? Uh, Red Hill has used three, and uh, Staunton has used three. Fifty-four of fifty-one is the score. The Salukis lead it by three. There's 17 seconds left in the ball game. It'll be Saluki ball when we come back to action here. 
You're watching Wabash Cablevision. This broadcast has been made possible through the courtesy of Wabash Cablevision and by Worldwide Sound and Video Productions in Robinson. My voice is about to go. Well, Bobby Stevens had another fine game with 23 points. D. Holloway was uh, 19, and Spider sitting out about five minutes. Saluki ball into Holloway. There's a foul. and got, it, got rid of one second. That's a long second. Sure was. Third foul on Meyer. Doesn't mean much. But these two free throws that D. Holloway could knock them down would certainly look good. I've made a bunch of notes here, but I can't read any of them. <laughs> Forget it. Oh. Short. Rebound. Staunton. Hampton's got seconds. it. The three will tie. That's the guy you don't want to have. Where's Cuba? They kick it back out. Cuba. He's puts still it a up. three. He's for three. He got, got it. it. Tie ball game. We're going to overtime, folks. There it is. OT. Hampton turned an ankle. He kicked that ball back out to Cuba. Turned an ankle. Staunton scored 10 points in that fourth quarter. Nine of them came from Cuba on three three-point baskets. He knocked down two with a lot of pressure on him. Well, we go into overtime, all tied up at 54 all. And I suppose that's the way it's supposed to be when you get to this level of play. It's anybody's ball game. We've played 32 minutes, and now we've got to start all over. A three-minute overtime period with jump ball in the center. B. Holloway, of course, is playing with four fouls there. Holloway and Meyer will go at it in the center circle. Rebound is controlled by Scott. Hampton with the ball. He doesn't show any signs of that turned ankle. He was limping around there when the clock was stopped. Cuba. Hampton goes inside to Meyer. Back outside to uh, Jeremy May. Rebound. Down court. Wide open here. Put it off the glass. Out of order. 56-54. Boy, Red Hill sure will release quick that time when the basket went, uh, when the shot went up. Cuba, they like him to handle the ball. He does it all. He's a good-looking ball player. Hampton drives, puts up the jumper, falls short, Holloway rebound, knocked away, and he's fouled by Brad Sturdy. Holloway will go to the line. Boy, you got to make them free throws. I... Always missed uh, last two in a row. He's only one for three. Well, Red Hill for the season has shot just barely over 70% on the free throws. Their opponents have shot at 72, so there's not a lot of difference. Got it. There it is. That's a biggie. 57-54, a three-point lead. We've got two minutes, two seconds to go in the overtime, and Holloway with another shot. There you go. 58-54. <laughs> Hampton. He pushed off, didn't he? Yeah, he did. May in trouble. Emmons on him. Now Hampton to Sturdish in the corner. Sturdish away in the far corner. Oh, my. Oh, my. 
Stevens is third. Kevin Meyer at the line will shoot a one and bonus. Got one. This will make it 58 55, a three point Saluki lead. 138 on the clock. Got them both. Two point ball game. Emmons brings it across the line against Hampton. Scott Murray with it. They look inside. Ooh. Emmons with it. Boy, they're all over Holloway. He had a handful of jersey. Stevens drives, blocked off of the baseline, gets it back out front to Murray, or to Emmons. Well, we're testing Red Hill's passing game here. Stolen knocked away. Well, and they got Sturdy. a five on four. Hurry. Yeah. Sturdy went over the table over at the, uh, in the radio booth. The Red Hill managed to maintain possession. We're at 45 seconds to go in the ball game. Red Hill leads it by two, and they're running the clock down. When will Staunton foul? D. Holloway with it. They'd like him to take the shots. Meyer had a hold of him. Stevens. Come get me. 30 seconds to go. There it is. It's fouled by Andy Meyer. His fourth. Two-point game. 29 seconds on the clock. Bobby Stevens will be at the line to shoot a one and bonus. Bobby's four for six. Going into these two throws. Won't go, rebound, Staunton. Two-point ball for, game, three. Watch out for the three-pointer. There's Cuba and Hamilton. They're Hampton. We're at 16. Cuba's looking for three. Hampton. We're at 12 seconds. Inside the Meyer. It won't go, rebound, Holloway. The foul is called on Andy Meyer, and we've got eight seconds on the clock. That's his fifth. shoot a one and bonus. Well, he's been the clutch shooter to line. Saluki's so leading by two. We've got eight seconds on the clock. A chance to pretty well put it away right here if he could make them both. The four-point ball game wouldn't give uh, Staunton much time to go down and score. And with less than five seconds on the clock, Red Hill wouldn't even have to inbound it. What happened? Timeout. <clears throat> Tonight's sponsor, Brian Lumber Company in Bridgeport, the Lawrenceville Greenhouses, Rob Service Center in Sumner, Alan Large, attorney at law in Lawrenceville and in Robinson, the Glass Masters in Lawrenceville, Gray's in Bridgeport, Tracy Electric in Lawrenceville, the Red Hills Driving Range in Bridgeport, the Cool Agency in Lawrenceville, Wolf Siliana Auto Sales in Bridgeport, Leo Lynn Enterprises north of Lawrenceville, the Bridgeport Marathon Service Station, Wabash Cablevision, and Worldwide Sound and Video Productions. Eight seconds to go in this overtime period. Saluki's lead it by two. We've got D. Holloway at the line to shoot a one and bonus. One, one for D. Holloway. Well, he's two for two in the overtime.
59-56. Won't fall. Won't fall. Staunton with a rebound. Five seconds. Down court. They've got to go for three. It is. Double overtime. Who got that? 42. Jeremy May. Jeremy May with the bucket. We go into double overtime. Did you catch that? Two or three. I, mean, I thought he said Red Hill had three and Staunton had one. Well, let's do it again. You, you knock them down, you step on them, and they still keep coming back at you. Staunton has managed to tie it up twice. We're in the second overtime period now. It's 59 all, and we got to do it all over. Holloway has played most of the fourth quarter and all the overtime with four fouls. Controlled by Staunton. They've controlled every tip-off. Yeah. Best with the ball. The Skirtish and Best on the outside. Myers fouled out of the ball game for Staunton. Skirtish is playing with four. That's Skirtish in the corner with it. Kuba's the man they'll go to. Kuba only has one foul. He's the one that does all the scoring. Of course, May, that's probably the only three-point bucket he's made all year. Well, they kill some time with it. We're at 225 here in the overtime period. 59 all, Staunton ball. Inside. 61-59. Staunton takes the lead for the first time in any of the overtimes. They've not led since fourth quarter. Gary Emmons underneath the D. Holloway puts it up, back to goes, and he's fouled. Let's get on the foul. All right, we can change that. Have to look at the board. Jeremy May, his third foul. 32, Holloway. 61 all now. Holloway can break that tie. Well, if he could have just got that last one down on oh, the first overtime, it'd be history. It goes 62-61, a one-point lead for Red Hill. 156 to go in the ballgame in this second overtime period. Best works against Shearer. Now it's Hampton and Emmons. May in the corner, guarded by Scott Murray, back out to Hampton. Best out front, looks for help, Shearer on him. Knocked away, on the floor. That's Gotta be traveling. Ball. Well, they rolled over with it, but yeah. they didn't get it. Red Hill ball. Take the possession. One thirty to go in this overtime period. Saluki's lead it by 162-61. Stevens will bring it down. Curtis will pick him up at the 10-second line. Emmons will control it out front for Red Hill. Now Murray. Holloway. Off the no. ball. 64-61, Red Hill by three. They keep doing it. They keep doing it. Cuba. May. Looks for help, goes inside. He's trying to draw the foul on Holloway. Stolen away by Murray. Anybody's Good ball. Grief. Folks, blow a whistle. Kuba with the ball. We're at 40 seconds to go in the overtime. Saluki's by three. Best with the ball. Best 
drive. 30 seconds. Knocked away. Hampton with the ball. Then the lane. Got a, a foul called against Sherrick. 24 fourth. seconds. That may be a good foul. Yeah, his fourth. 24 seconds to go here in the second overtime. Hampton will be at the line to shoot a win and bonus. Saluki's lead it by three. Hampton hadn't scored since early in the third quarter. Got that one. Two-point game. 64-62. Got them both. One point game again. Salukis have it. 20 seconds. Stevens across the timeline. Down underneath, out of bounds, knocked away. Yeah. Red Hill ball. 16 seconds on the clock. 64 63. Scott Murray will toss it in. Sure. Emmons. Murray, foul is going to be called against Hampton out front. Gary Emmons will go to the line with 12 seconds left. Hampton's third. I don't think I can take another overtime. Well, the third one used to be sudden death. I haven't seen the three overtime for so long. I don't know. I tell you, we've watched here at Super Sex to play over the years, you know, we've seen several overtime ball games, so we can go back to Lawrenceville. Yeah. The Vandalia game where the guy tried to dunk it, blew it, and that's that's the thing that lost the game for him. Twelve seconds on the clock. 64-63, Red Hill by one. Well, if Red Hill goes on to the assembly hall, Dwayne and I are going to be there, but we're not going to be able to do any of the telecasts. This will be it for us in Wabash Cablevision. This is well, because I don't think we can talk anyway. <laughs> no. Boy, we've had quite a year down here. Some tremendous tournament play. Though I go back to that regional final at all, it was Lawrenceville Red Hill, and that's still one of the finest basketball games I've ever seen. One heck of a ball game. This one's not too shabby right here. Gary Emmons at the line with a one and bonus. Won't go. Rebound, Scott. Ten seconds, nine seconds. A one-point lead by Red Hill. Got to be Cooper. careful. Four seconds. Underneath. We'll go. No, no. They counted it. They counted it. No yeah. way. Who got the tip? Um, Cuba's the only one under there that I know of. I don't. I wish we could see that again. Final score, 65-64 on the tip in at the gun. Bulldog, the winner. I'd like to look at that. I would too. The ball was down. I looked at the clock. It went zero. I didn't see it go in. Well, it hung up there and bounced a little bit after the tip. Yeah. Heck of a ball game. Heck of a ball game. 65-64 with a tip in at the buzzer. The Stanton Bulldogs win it. They advance to the assembly hall. We'll play the winner of the Decatur Super Sectional tonight. It will either be Arthur or Riverson. Well, this is one of these ball games that uh, it's tough for either team to lose. And Staunton kept coming back. They were down at the end of regulation play, managed to tie it up. We went into the first overtime, the three-pointer. 
by Cuba. Put us in the second overtime. No, Three-pointer by May. Cuba put us in the first overtime. May put us in the second overtime. Tied up at 59 all. The final overtime, three minutes. Wound up a 65-64 ball game with a tipping in at the buzzer by the Staunton Bulldogs and the win. Well, again, you've been watching Wabash Cablevision and the sponsors of tonight's ball game. Our thanks go out to Brian Lumber Company in Bridgeport, the Lawrenceville Greenhouses, Rob Service Center in Sumner, Alan Large, attorney at law in Lawrenceville and Robinson, the Glassmasters in Lawrenceville, Gray's in Bridgeport, Tracy Electric in Lawrenceville, Red Hills Driving Range in Bridgeport, the Cool Agency in Lawrenceville, Wolf Silly and Auto Sales in Bridgeport, Leo Lynn Enterprises north of Lawrenceville, Bridgeport Marathon Service Station, Wabash Cablevision, Worldwide Sound and Video Productions in Robinson. Tonight's ball game has been presented by Wabash Cablevision and Worldwide Sound and Video Productions. This ball game is copyrighted 1993 by Worldwide Sound and Video Productions. No portion of this program can be reproduced or duplicated in any form. Copies of this program can be obtained by contacting Rod Wheeler at Worldwide Sound and Video Productions in Robinson at 618-544-7898. Well, the, the Staunton Bulldogs have certainly got a lot to celebrate in their second double overtime victory, 65-64, the final score. Dwayne pulling up the totals, and we'll give them to you here in just a second. The Bulldogs will play at uh, 6.30 Friday night in the Assembly Hall. And again, they will play the winner of the Decatur Super Sectional, Arthur or Riverton. Got him? I've got him. Let's I, hear don't, him. I don't like him, but I've got him. D. Holloway was the leading scorer in the game with 27 points. Bobby Stevens with 23. Seven for Sure, one for Murray, six for Emmons. Yeah, they all committed 18 team fouls. They had uh, three three-point baskets and shot 11 for 22 from the free throw line, even 50%. Staunton, 26 points for Cuba. Nine in those big three-pointers three there in the fourth quarter. 13 for Meyer, 13 for Hampton, seven for May, and six for Sturdridge. They committed 19 team fouls, one more than Red Hill. They shot 14 for 19 from the free throw line and had five three-point baskets. 14 for 19, that's that's not quite 50% either. Neither, you know, Red Hill shot 50 and uh, Saunton was slightly under 50. However, wound uh, up with three more. 14 for 19. I'm, I'm all wrong. I'm giving them 10 more. <laughs> 14 for 19. That's better than 50 considerably. Okay. okay. Well, it's uh, it's a shame. I, I thought the, the key point of the game for Red Hill was uh, when they took out D. Holloway there in the, in the third quarter with a minute 56 to go and a three-point lead, and he managed to set out five minutes and played the whole rest of the ball game and played well. Uh, but Red Hill has managed to keep the lead at that point, and had it turned out the other way, I think that would have been probably the best decision Coach Kendall had made. It's still the right decision to make. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I'm, I'm not criticizing him at all. Or I think it was a heck of a move, and the only move he had to make at that time. I, you just can't you can't say enough for the the, the way Staunton keep kept coming back and knocking down those big three point baskets at the at the horn, and the last one they're. I'm not sure where there's a rule stating that, uh, that a tip in does not constitute a shot at the horn. I, I thought a control shot, uh, if it was taken before the horn, it counted. A tip in 
the ball had to go through before the horn sounded because it was not a control shot. If that was the case, it didn't work. But you know, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. We'd, we'd have to look at it. That was close. And uh, like I say, you can't change it now. Staunton played a heck of a ball game. Um, as you said, you can't take anything away from him. Well, I thought they were giving a score. I was kind of waiting to see what the Arthur Riverton score. Final score again here, though, a super sectional play at uh, Eastern Illinois University in Charleston. The Red Hill Salukis put up a fine performance and a double overtime loss by one point. The Staunton Bulldogs 65, the Salukis 64.